What's up, Jazzy fam? Welcome back to another vlog. I am back vlogging. I'm trying to be as consistent as I can the month of December. Y'all know I don't really participate in Vlogmas, but I do, you know, try to do a little one too, a little vloggy vlog or whatever. So I just left Starbeast and I got me a iced chai gingerbread. I low key, you guys, I don't really feel like, well, maybe I do have social anxiety because I typically do online orders or like drive through and I don't have to go in there and I just get overwhelmed and I don't know. I feel like it's a confidence thing. I want to go into any place that I am going in any room and be confident and I just am praying about that because I don't I just feel like maybe that's what it is like I'm just not as confident I start messing up my order and everything like I told her I said I am so sorry <laughs> I typically do online pick up mobile orders like I don't usually come in the store it's like girl you know what you want and you know what you want to get like stop playing Okay, so I get the iced gingerbread chai, and I couldn't remember, like, okay, so actually, typically I order this, and I do a mobile order, and I always ask for it in a venti cup. Don't know why. The girls on TikTok told me to do it, okay? And so I order it in a venti cup. I'm trying to make myself not look so crazy, but it's usually, so I order a grande in a venti cup. I'm like, put it in a venti cup. And it's usually full. I don't know what they do, but now I know they probably they're either adding they're probably adding extra oat milk, which is fine. Um, so but when I went in just now, the girl was like, Is there a reason you want it in a petite cup? Like, do you prefer more ice or do you prefer more milk? And I was like, Fuck, you threw me off because I'm girl, I don't know. I just know that I pay grande price and I get it in a venti cup and the shit is full. Like, but you can go ahead and throw some more oat milk in there, like if that's what you gotta do, like I mean, honestly, I don't know. Because I was kind of like thrown off by her asking, and she was super sweet, super cool about it. I forgot to get the caramel drizzle because I usually add caramel drizzle to make it like, um, it, it gives, it reminds me of like a cookie taste. I don't know. I really like it. I needed something because I'm trying, you guys, I'm going to try to wean away from drinking coffee in the mornings and just start drinking tea caffeine really doesn't do my body good at all it makes me feel very jittery and just very like anxious mind you this is caffeine right but for some reason this doesn't necessarily bother me as much as like black coffee does so i'm trying to like see how i feel without drinking coffee first thing so yeah i didn't have anything this morning i needed something and I'm cramping, I'm cramping and I'm bloated because I'm ovulating, which is so annoying. I had kids and stuff and started like paying attention. My body definitely, I know when I'm ovulating, I'm cramping, I have a, I have the ovulation pains. And it's like, I wish I would've known before. You know, I wish I would've known. And I can't have kids or anything, so I just feel like I'm going through all this pain and bloating and all of that stuff for what? Um, but yeah, so I don't want to ramble too, too much. Today is Wednesday. I have a hair appointment on Friday. And of course, I am going to take you guys along. I haven't seen my girl in months. She hadn't done my hair in like at least two years. But I haven't like actually seen her in a few months. I see her here and there. We text. But I haven't seen her. She owns um, a beauty supply store where I live. And I go in there all the time just to see her. But I haven't seen her in a while. So I'm excited to chop it up with her. And she's going to do my sew-in. So as you guys probably have noticed, I did go ahead and dye my hair. What the heck? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? I dyed my hair like a soft black, which I... I... See... Let me explain my thought process. I dyed my hair soft black because it was so light. But it's fine. It's totally fine. It's going to be fine. I'm getting a sew in. And then I, so I have two bundles that, do I have two or three? I think I have two bundles that I usually use when I get my micro link. So, oh my gosh, I have so many things that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Okay. Okay. 
So without trying to get too far off into this ramble on this vlog, I have two hairstylists that I love, okay? So I have my wedding hairstylist and I have my homegirl. They're both my homegirl, but okay. One of them did my hair for my wedding. I really love her. It's giving bougie vibes, okay? Love her salon. So I go to her. She does like my micro links and everything like that. Um, and then I have my other friend who's a hairstylist, but it's just more like, I want to really chop it up. I really want to vent. Like, that's my girl for that type, you know, of, I don't know. I love them both. I just, I try to support everybody and I've supported my other girl a couple times, a lot of times. And so now it's time for me to support my other friends. Y'all like hair hop? I don't know. Is that a bad thing? I don't think it is. I'm trying to support all my friends. The person that my other friend who I, she did my my wedding hair, my micro links. Um, I got her bundles. So I'm taking those bundles. Excuse me, this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm taking those bundles and I'm gonna use them with my sew-in. But I had to purchase another bundle so that it's like full and so the bundles that I have are 22 inches, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna do a 20 inch to kind of give it that layered effect. Girl, we're gonna be cute. We're gonna be so cute. And also I'm going, so I'm going to get my hair done on Friday. And then I have a surprise trip on Saturday. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet. Up. I'm excited for some one-on-one -on -one time with my hubby, even though it's a quick turnaround trip. You know, we're gonna hang out in the Dallas area. Anyways, buckle up you guys. This is gonna be a this vlog is probably gonna be all over the place and yeah. I'll see you guys Friday when I go to my hair appointment. I am awake you guys and I am at Starbucks again. I can't believe I've been here two days in a row, but I'm out of coffee at home and I told you I was trying to not drink coffee. So I got me a matcha today. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm not planning on vlogging at all this morning or today at all. But um, I wanted to just wish everybody a good day. It is my Friday. Today is Thursday. And it will be a blessed day. Don't forget to say your prayers. Thank God for the day that he has made. And I hope you guys have a really good, productive, easy, light, good day. Yes. Oh, that camera looks so good. Girl, oh, yeah. And it's a bye. That's so good. <laughs> oh, girl. I look like somebody. I just left. Good morning. I didn't even say anything. Good morning. I just left my hair appointment. I got there at like six o'clock. We actually it was supposed to be at five thirty, but we pushed the time back because what the fuck was we thinking? Trying to be anywhere at five thirty, and I barely made it at six. I barely made it to Starbucks to get me some coffee, but we made it. So yeah, my hair is done. So super cute. This is three bundles, I believe. Yeah, this is three bundles of hair. It's super super cute. Um, so now it is ten o'clock. We was just in there chopping it up. Like, that's my girl. Um, I need to stop at the outlet store so that I can pick up my boots that I purchased. And then I need to go get my daughter because um, can you get in the lane? People irritate me the way they drive. I need to go get my daughter and take her to the doctor. I just want to make sure that it's nothing serious. Um, she just was saying like it hurts when she like runs and stuff. Um, it hurts to breathe. Uh, her, her chest hurts. So I just want to make make sure she's good. Um, and yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. I have to make a few phone calls and I'm vlogging on my phone right now. So I'll see you guys. I just wanted to show y'all my hair and it's giving, it's giving volume, voluminous girl. So y'all remember I told you guys I purchased some um, boots. I'm about to run in the store and pick them up because I'm going to wear them on my trip. So 
so oh this is a lot of hair and i have to get used to it but i'm gonna run in the store really quick i wanted to run an old navy but i'm probably not gonna have time since i have to go take my daughter to the doctor so we'll see if i have time for that but yeah as for right now we're about to run in here and get these boots so yeah we're gonna run in here i gotta go to the bathroom so bad i really want to go in old navy there's some cute stuff in there do y'all see how disgusting my shoe looks because i spilled water on it look at that that's why that's why i came to get new shoes i got them so yeah okay so i'm just putting these boots on you guys because the shoes that i had on were i spilled water and then i tried to clean them and these are from walmart these are like the also the ugg dupes and they're super cheap so i can just go back to walmart and get another pair but as far as for right now i'm just doing on these um bear paw yup people on social media will have you feeling like you can't have anything off brand don't let them people fool y'all okay I seen somebody the other day was like talking about a girl because she had on bear paws and not uggs and it's like honey bitch are you gonna pay for them let me wear what i want to wear okay so today kind of ended the day's not over but the turn of events have drastically changed we are currently at the doctor at the hospital we have to leave them on until we leave okay I'll update you guys later in the vlog, but I probably won't pick up the camera anymore until tomorrow, honestly. But I will update you guys and let y'all know what's going on. What's up, Jazzy fam? Okay, so I wanted to jump in here and sit, film this video sitting down. I actually just got home. I was ripping and running some errands. Um, I had to take some... Y'all remember in the beginning of the video, I was telling you guys that I was going out of town to a party. That did not happen, so... Um, I'm about to tell you why, but I had to take back the Amazon, the stuff that I got from Amazon that was for that party. I dropped it off at Kohl's so that it could be sent back or whatever. So long story short, I was telling you guys that I was taking my daughter to the doctor because her chest was hurting. So she was sick like two weeks prior, almost three weeks prior. Um, she had like a sore throat. She said she had a, she said she had a sore throat, um, and she was saying her chest hurts. She kept saying my chest hurts. So, you know, I'm thinking if uh, maybe it's like a chest cold or something and I didn't want anything to linger too long. So finally I'm like, okay, you know, it's been three weeks. Let's go to the doctor, right? And God is so good because she was complaining about chest pain for two weeks, okay? Um, she just kept saying my chest hurts. So I took her to her PCP and it was just me because dad was at work, of course. I took off this day because I was going to get my hair done, as you guys saw. And so, yeah, I was like, well, I'm off. Let me take her to an, her PCP. I took her there and immediately, like, when she gets in there and does all her little, um, like, checking her ears and all of that stuff, she checked and listened to her heart. And she kind of was like, do y'all have any history of family, family history of, like, heart problems or whatever? And I'm like... I mean, I went through a whole EKG heart monitor thing a couple years ago, but everything was fine. You know, I'm like, not really. Um, immediately, this is the thing. Immediately, her doctor had worry on her face. And I know it's hard to not, but I guess because I work in healthcare, I'm, I, I recognize certain things. So immediately, it was like um, a look of concern. So she's like, well, she has a heart murmur. And I'm like, but okay, like this is news to me. I have never been told that before. So now like hindsight, okay. So she's having chest pain and she has a murmur. It's the first time that she's been diagnosed with a murmur. So because of that, I know that there's like a protocol, right? So immediately we went to x-ray and EKG. Y'all, first, first of all, she was like, well, here's how it can go. It can be a heart murmur can be normal, like it can be normal or it can mean other issues. And so she automatically just goes into like a hole in the heart or 
you know, all of the, all of these things. But she's like, but don't panic. And I'm like, ah, anxiety is through the roof right now. So like I said, immediately her face was just kind of like worry. So before, so she comes back in the room and before she can even, even tell me like what's up, another lady comes in and she's, and the doctor's like, oh, I didn't have a chance to talk to her yet. I said, talk to me about what, <laughs> what's going on? So then the other lady who was x-ray leaves out. And so the doctor's like, well, she needs to get an x-ray so we can make sure her heart and stuff looks good. And she needs to do an EKG because it's the first time that we're no noticing or it's the first time that she's being diagnosed with a murmur, right? So I'm like, okay. You know. So then she gets the x-ray and the EKG. And she does tell me prior, like if it's normal, you know, if it looks good, then we probably don't need to see a cardiologist. But she was more leaning to, we need to do this and you're probably going to have to see a cardiologist. Okay. So then once the x-ray and stuff gets done, again, complete worry on this doctor's face. Worry. Okay. And I'm trying to hold it together. I don't want to cry. I don't want to scare the baby. Um, I don't want to scare Leah. And I'm like trying to text my husband in between all of this. I didn't even take the meat out. And then um, she's like, okay. It's kind of like, I kind of blocked some stuff out because I was just like frantic, but like holding it together, keeping it real gangster, you know, but I was freaking out because she comes back in and basically says, we need to go to children's hospital emergency room because the x-ray showed her heart was enlarged. She's like, it's not taking up the entire cavity, but it is enlarged and she's having chest pain and now she has a murmur. She's like, you need to see a cardiologist. And I was like, you mean like today? Today? You mean like I got to go to the ER right now? And she was like, yes. And the EKG came back act abnormal, you guys. So this was like all around 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Child, the immediate fear, panic and everything. But I was staying pretty calm, but I was like, I text my husband. I was like, meet me at Children's. Like we got to go to Children's. It was a big thing. Okay. Looking back, I'm like, she was so concerned. So, so very concerned. Hold on. Um, she had ultrasound of her heart, of her belly, EKG, x-ray, blood work. And let me tell you how good God is. Because by the time we left her PCP where they saw on the x-ray her enlarged heart, you know, you know I went into prayer mode because baby. Um, but by the time we got all the other tests done and, and what they were concerned at with children's because of her symptoms was cardiomyositis or something, which is basically like inflammation of the heart from a virus because, you know, common viruses and things like that can enter the heart cavity or something, you know? So that's what they were concerned of. So even then it was still panic because... They were like, you know, if it is that, she will have to stay in the hospital a couple of days until her levels, her blood levels are normal. And it's just like, y'all start with all the worst things first. Y'all don't even like ease us into it. It's just kind of like boom, boom, boom. But God is great. God is so good. And we are completely covered because by the time we got all the tests and everything, she was fine. She's healthy. And she, all her tests came back as normal. And I'm like, a part of me started to, and I did kind of like, you know, question like, well, why did her PCP see and say, but I had to remind myself, like, it doesn't matter what they seen. It doesn't matter what they thought. God said, child, we did not go out of town. I was, I was a little sad about it, but at the same time, I was just mentally drained. This is a lot of information to take in when you're at the hospital and when you're at the doctor and then get sent to the hospital. It's just a lot. I was so mentally exhausted and just, I cried like half the next morning because I just was, I was, I think just like processing everything, everything was irritating me. I was just like on edge, but I miss my girl Missy's party. She, um, I know it was a ball. I'm sad that I didn't get to go, but at the same time, I'm like, I needed a woosah. Back to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm. 
black kombucha girlies comment down below your favorite flavor this is the mystic mango i really like this flavor it's kind of loud i have the laundry going i'm cooking it's a lot going on this weekend has been horrible but i'm praying that my joy doesn't get taken because i didn't even want to get out the bed this morning i'm ready ready for good vibes positive vibes good energy and all of the things Ooh, we have to get like food okay you guys so i just got back from kroger hey, i had to do a little run because i'm craving a salad okay so i had to run because like i said i want this salad well actually we were gonna do sub sandwiches but now i think i'm gonna just do a salad because that sounds the best to me but you guys i found some new flavors from the kombucha that i love okay i turned the other light on we have citrus immune boost this has vitamin c and zinc I've, I've heard about this one. And you guys know the um, golden pineapple. Oh, I forgot, I, I forgot I had those. The golden pineapple flavor in this brand is nowhere to be found. Like in my city, my store, it's completely sold out. So. She got the Hershey chocolate. Oh yeah, I got a little I love those. frozen strawberry Hershey's. Um, I gotta make sure my kids don't eat them because last time they ate them, put them up. The blue. All right, and then the other flavor because the pineapple one is sold out i found this one it was kind of hidden they had a couple this one is the it's ginger pineapple i'm excited to try this one but they're like four dollars a pop you guys so i have these two the mango the mango one that you guys saw my favorite pink lady apple and passion fruit tangerine which are really good so i got a good little stock i got enough to last me for about a week and a half two weeks because i don't drink them every day got um whipped cream for coffee okay so i just got stuff for salad and then you guys on a day that i don't feel like cooking we love these the thin burgers and they take like minutes i could you not they're so good they're so juicy but yes that's it for this quick little Kroger haul i'm gonna make this salad i'm gonna show you how i make it on them private tracks, making trips Come back at six, wake me and your child And it won't lay today Make me wonder who you might have been playing with Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing this Wake up back over and over again Sweat change, but I know that's the end I want you on scene Think you know your person 